Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with two really interesting rug phones from Osco. This is the S60 and the S60 Pro. So we are going to take a look at some of the differences and some of the things that are not different. Now starting to look at them in terms of design. This is the type of phone which is exactly the opposite of this kind of phone which is slim and it has the design in mind. This one has the design in mind but but it also has the rugged feeling, the robust. It is a phone to take a punch, while this one right over here, it isn't. And regardless of the price and specifications and so on and so forth, this is a different target. And in my opinion, in terms of the design, they are well built, well constructed, and they will handle the roughness of some kinds of work. Now we will find the same layout, the same colors, the same disposition in terms of the buttons. We will have um, the charging mode is a micro USB. We have a SIM card which takes a nano SIM and a micro SD card as well. We have the volume and power button right over here on the right hand side and then we have a 3.5 millimeter jack on the top. Now I have in mind that these phones are waterproof but we need to take full attention when we uncover these Covers. The screen is a 5.7 inch display, really nice display, 1440 by 720 with 60 hertz. Both have Android 11 with Dock OS 2.1. They share the same enclosure and they have some differences. Now, the main differences are CPU, RAM, and storage in terms of specifications. The camera is different and the battery is different. And if I'm forgetting something, I will take it towards the end of the video. Now, in terms of the 60, the S60 has a MediaTek 6761, which is a quad core CPU, three gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of flash storage with a front face camera of five megapixels and a back camera of eight megapixels with 4,980 milliamp hour battery, which at this moment costs roughly 120 euros more or less on the other hand the s60 pro has a mediatek 6762 which is a octa core cpu 4 gigabytes of ram and 32 gigabytes of flash storage with a front face camera of 8 megapixels and a back camera of 13 megapixels with a battery of 5580 million powers and costing roughly 140 150 euros Even before my conclusion, if you ask me, hey Robert, would you suggest go to the Pro or to the regular version, saving of course 30 euros more or less on this option, I would say that to get more storage, which is the double, and to get one more gigabyte of RAM and the extra performance, for 30 euros I would go for the Pro. On the other hand, if you are not going to play games, and if you are not going to install a lot of apps, and if the camera differences, which I will leave towards the end of the video, are not huge to you, then you might save the 30 euros and go for the S60, which will deliver a good price to performance ratio. Just to add that in terms of longevity, even though if you are not going to play games, I would go for the S60 Pro, which with the superior specifications will give me more time and will be able to last more without needing a update. Do we notice a lot in terms of the daily usage? And the reality is that we don't. Now, one is a bit faster than other in some tasks, and especially on games, yes, the S60 Pro is a lot faster as we will have the chance to see. But on daily tasks, if I want to browse on the web, we will not notice that difference. And if I'm touching one phone or the other and 
moving around app to app, then the difference will be on multitasking, but touching the phone itself, the experience is very, very similar. So both of them have a really nice performance. Now, if we look at Geekbench, which will give us the CPU power raw performance, we will have on the S60, 131 in single core score and 510 on multi-core score. And if we go to the S60 Pro, we'll have 138 and 791. And this just gives us exactly what I was stating. On regular tasks like opening a browser, we are just opening with one core. It's a one core application, so we will not notice difference from one to another. But if we are playing games or using applications that will take more than one core, then is there where we will notice it. 3D Mark score, we will see a difference right over there. We have 249 on the S60 and 416 on the S60 Pro. So for games, Yes, the S60 Pro will be a lot superior. And just to test out the network capability, both of them are great. I was able to reach 280 megabits per second on download on the S60 and 300 more or less on the S60 Pro. Now, if we want to use any kind of application for multimedia and stuff like that, Netflix, Go, Plex, and so on and so forth, we will be more than happy with any of these right over here. If we want to play games, then there's the main difference because the S60 Pro is superior. And as you could see on the graphics test, more or less double, almost the double of the S60 in terms of raw performance, which is a lot. Actually, there will be games that we will not be able to install on the S60 regular version because of the lack of the performance, while we will be able to install on the S60 Pro. The main difference will be the capacity in terms of storage and then the extra performance for games or any other demanding apps that we might use on our daily basis. And this is the conclusion. If you are looking for a rug phone, this is a good solution, either the S60 or the S60 Pro. Having in mind that the S60 Pro has more performance and more storage. If you want to install more apps, then the S60 Pro is the right way to go. If you don't need to install a lot of apps and if you are not going to play games, then probably the best is to save 30 euros and go for the S60. But both of them, Really, really interesting rug films. Having that said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.